Ooh, Coco. <laughs> I still think that was cute, though. I mean, honestly, I didn't expect that. And, you know, hopefully he'll realize one day that he is my crush. Um, I have told him that. And, you know, uh, I didn't really get the response that I wanted. And I left it alone. I left it alone. But he's such an awesome man. You know, awesome man. Big time faith believer. Um, musician. Loves to play the bass. Can play the bass. Oh my God. He can play anything he puts his mind to. <laughs> but yeah. Um, shoot, y'all. I got to get some breakfast crunked up in here. But that was my dad. I'm going to call them back. Whoever that is calling. I'm going to call them back. Um, it's time I get some breakfast started up in here. I think I'm just going to do some toast and eggs again. Because my stomach still isn't there 100. So I'm having to um, eat whatever feels really nice to my stomach. And maybe uh, I got some orange juice this morning. I don't know. We'll see how things go. I don't know, because I really don't feel like I can eat, but because I know I do need to eat, I'm going to do something. Maybe I have a boiled egg. I feel like I can eat a boiled egg. A boiled egg with some um, garlic powder, onion powder, and some, um, what do you call it? Some uh, hot sauce. <laughs> hot sauce for my breakfast. Hot sauce for my breakfast. And y'all, I'm looking forward to getting back to working as well. Um, bringing those shows back out. Now that my thoughts are really starting to come together, my mind is stabilizing now. Um, I'm not having the mood swings of up and down and all the crying and stuff. I mean, it, it makes prayer works, y'all. It makes a difference. Because before, I was in a total mess. I couldn't have think. Um, and the thoughts that I did have, they were scrambled. And now things are starting to come together and straighten out where I can literally focus now. Before, I could not focus on any one thing. I mean, my mind was just all over the place. And now I can I can focus a lot better. I can focus a lot better. Now, I'm still dealing with that lingering cough and stuff. So, could be, you know. I think in certain areas that I can go. And in, in those areas, if there's any pet dander, that stuff keeps me going. And I think I may be getting it um, from somebody um, who has been near pets, which a lot of my family members go near pets. And then there's these cats that come to my step. And so it may be coming from that, why it's lasting so long. And... You know, I just have to find a way to deal with it and make sure that I'm doing everything that the doctor has said to do. I am about to take my my medication now. I'm going to take my medication. Um, First thing I'm going to get down the hatchet is an aspirin. Y'all know I was having to take six aspirins a day. My chest was hurting so bad. Listen. My chest will hurt so bad, I was having to take six aspirins a day. I'm down to two aspirins a day now. And hopefully in the next week, I'll be back to my regular schedule one. Because my chest was hurting so bad. Y'all, it was crazy. The way my chest feel now, I feel light. I feel light now. Um, But last week and the week before in these months, it, my chest was feeling really heavy, like jugs of water and bricks was inside of it. So I'm making sure I take my meds and, you know, keep my health up. Because I'm ready to get back. Um, I'm still doing work for Nashville. Shout out to Nashville. I love Nashville. Got some stuff on Tim McGraw and stuff. Um, the legends, there's nothing like working with country legends, you know, putting that information out there for the country legend folk. I love all kind of music and, you know, I say wherever God sends me, that's where I'm going to be a present at. That's where I'm going to be present. 
Okay, so this morning's meds is two aspirins, a blood pressure pill, um, singular for my allergies, and some protonics for my stomach because it's hard for me to eat. So I take protonics to um, keep the acid down, and um, that helps me where I can eat at least a little something, you know. Yep. Let me get it on down the hatch. With a big old bottle of water. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and I have a nose drop. Shout out to my BF. He brought all my medicines for me. Um, took me to the drugstore. Said, get all you need. And I got what I needed. Um, got back on my vitamin D therapy, which was yesterday because I'm vitamin D deficient. That's it, right? The fishy seat, the fishy seat. <laughs> okay, so I'll tell you. Oh, this is my um, nose drops. It's also for allergies. A majority of my problems, y'all, now are really like my allergies. Um, this time of year, as you can hear, my throat goes in and out. So this is Florissa, Florissa, Florissa. For something. Allergy drops. For my nose. I'm on two different kinds of drops. One in the morning, one at night. And one at night, though. Ugh. I don't know about all of this. Okay, but anyway, let me see. I think I've got everything here. I did have to take a breathing treatment last night before I went to sleep. Because I started getting congested. But I rested well. Um, I love sharing my life with y'all. <laughs> I really do. Oh, and I did take the um the cough medication. I took it too. I love sharing my life with y'all because y'all are wonderful people. If you listen to me, you're wonderful people. And evidently, I must be saying something that, you know, that we, that it is basically everyday life. You know what I'm saying? It's basically everyday life and making decisions. That's, that's what this show is really all about is making sure, making these decisions in life and, you know, letting people know that, no, you're not going to always feel good. And there's going to be some decisions that you make that are just hard. And you have to, and it, but if it's a good decision and it's hard, you you have to stick by what is right and not your emotions. Because some emotions, y'all, will carry you down. I also have a multivitamin supplement here. It's women's one a day that I take as well. Because sometimes you can see, um, you can look at your tongue. And I, I can diagnose a lot of people with a lot of things. I mean, honestly. Honestly, I have studied medicine and law so well and i guess that's because that's just um you know people was always needing this and needing that and i always had an interest for learning but literally i have studied so much in the health field and and um the criminal justice field to to um you know a lot of times i could just really just if i could prescribe my own medicine put it like that i would <laughs> if i could do it myself i sure would because I have um, been through a lot, and in my early years, my mom, my mom worked as a nurse, um, and so I learned a lot from her. And I, I've, I've read a lot of medical books. Listen, education. You want education? Start reading. Start reading the newspaper. Start reading them little small articles that you think ain't got no helpful information in there. You'll be surprised some of the things that you can learn. But um, I read the medical books and. Uh, like when you have family members just taking up classes like CNA and stuff, you read that stuff. You know, they're going through the class, but just because that's not your field, it don't mean that you ain't got to have the knowledge in it. So I have a lot of knowledge in that area about things. And ooh, mm, that big old horse peel bottom. Ugh, I felt it hit the back of my throat. Ugh. 
It did a flip and then went on that. All right, y'all. So, yeah, get your knowledge however you can get it. Get your wisdom from God. Wisdom and knowledge comes from God. It gives you the strength to um, be able to receive. A lot of people aren't open to receive new things. And that's why they stay stuck. See, I can't stay stuck because that's too boring. And I know there's life out here. And I get a life just by helping others. So I do what I can to help others. But yeah, um, let me see what else was I going to say. I was going to say something. Oh yeah, my sister and I, we're doing this book reading thing now too. And I'm glad about that. That's helping, helping, um, helping me as well. She's been a big part in my support system. My sister Christina has. And the book we're reading on now, Allison, it's by Allison Brennan. It's called I Got Tempted and Evil. And she's got another book that she's reading by the same woman. So we have just really made up in our minds that this is what we want to do. You want to change your life, you start feeding yourself different stuff. This book thing is going to help relieve stress. And I'm starting on it today. She started on hers last night. I was supposed to start mine last night. But I talked so much. I just. <laughs> I talked so much to them. So I just knocked out. <laughs> yeah. But. Uh, let's see. What else was I going to say? I was going to say something. Uh, my clothes smell like my BL. My clothes I had on yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That brother be on time. I'm trying to tell y'all. Lord. He be on time. Patience is a virtue, though. Patience is a virtue. I ain't in no hurry. I ain't in no hurry. If, it, if it's meant to be, it will be. Um. What was I going to say, though? I really had something on my mind to say, and I can't remember what it was. Maybe to come back to me later on this afternoon. As I begin to um, start back working, y'all, I probably would not be on here as much. Um, maybe hit y'all in the morning or something. I don't know about nighttime. Because I know my workload is going to pick up. And we are two days away from the conference that I'm going to be speaking on. Y'all here in Candor, North Carolina. Y'all y'all need to go to my page and check out the flyer. Go check out the flyer. If you're in the area, Southern Pines, Rockingham, Charlotte. We're only an hour away. Check it out. Come on down here. And I am going to be speaking on this conference. As a matter of fact, you know what? I may do a separate um I may, if y'all go to the Kiva station, I'm probably going to come on there later on talking about this conference and who all will be at the conference and what all is going to go down, what's going to take place. I've had a great time working with the pastor on this and, um, you know, it's just going to be a really blessed atmosphere. It's going to be what does say the Lord. That's what it's going to be. Whatever God says, whatever the Holy Spirit says, I don't care what I got written on paper. If the Holy Spirit says go another way, we're going to go another way. <laughs> we're going to go another way. If that's what he's calling for in the season, you know, we can write one thing down. But if that's not what he wants, um, when I get there, then it's going to be changed up. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm excited about it. I'm doing tongue push-ups right now. Get my tongue ready. <laughs> tongue push-ups. Get my tongue ready so I can throw out some strong words. So that they will stick to people. And people will apply them. I usually teach things that I have been through. Things that I have seen other people go through. Things that have helped other people. In order to get people back to living quality lives and living holy lives. Living a life for God. It's, it, I'm telling you, it's just less stress. It is. It really is. The peace of God is just, it surpasses all understanding. You won't understand how you got it. It's just there. But you'll know it's God. Yes, you will. You will know that it's God. Mm. Okay, my time is going to be up because I'm only going to stay on here 30 minutes. But y'all have a blessed day. Remember to love on your friends, love on your family, love on your strangers, love on some strangers. All right, I'm out. Yay.